I am so excited about today's video because I've been waiting for this thing to exist for so long. I never open the blinds in this room. And no, it's not because I am 1920s vampire Nosferatu. <laughs> no matter how much I'm told I look like him. Home assistant, home assistant, oh the Zigbee. I don't look like him. Like, if, if you think that I look like him, go Google for Johnny Sins. That's who I look like. Don't, don't Google for Johnny Sins. <laughs> the reason I wanted this device is because I'm lazy. I've been waiting for so long for a device that could do this. Alexa. Open blind tilter. Okay. <laughs> Thanks to SwitchBot for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their brand new SwitchBot blind tilt motor. This thing can be installed in literally minutes and when paired to the SwitchBot hub, it'll allow you to control your blinds with Amazon Alexa, Google Home, Siri shortcuts, If This Then That, Samsung SmartThings and Clover. I don't know what Clover is. I thought it was a butter substitute. We all love Clover. There's one thing we've learned. It was a man moved to tears by vegetable fat. For Google Home, Samsung Smart Things, and Siri shortcuts, you can also set the blinds by percentage. So I can actually say set the blinds to 20%. And on top of this, you could also control the blinds using a switch bot button or an NFC tag because the scenes are that powerful. But if you don't want all that voice stuff, these things will still work without a hub using their app. And if you program a schedule into this thing, it will still operate even if your internet goes down. They come with a solar panel, so there's no wiring involved, and they have an ambient sensor to allow you to open and close the blind when the sun goes up and down. Amazing. In the box, there is a motor. Kind of reminds me of Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos for some reason. It comes with a lengthy charging cable, if you would prefer not to use the solar panel, a mounting bracket, the solar panel itself. Ooh! <gasps> Hello! Hello! I had no idea it could be solar powered! It's even better than I first imagined! <laughs> and some bits to attach the motor to your wand. It also comes with this stupid booklet for some reason, that I immediately threw away, because as we all know, I am tremendous at DIY. So stressful. Stop dropping that, you prick! No! Stop dropping it! Black is crumping up and I've dropped it again! Pairing the device is the usual affair of pressing a plus button in the SwitchBot app, followed by holding a reset button on the device itself. Once you've named it, you'll get a video that walks you through the physical installation. And the music that plays is just preposterously cheerful. Manchester Airport could learn a thing or two from SwitchBot. Utterly miserable place. Your holiday is over. Get out. Your holiday is over. Get out. Your holiday is over. Possibly the most hateful place on earth. But I digress. The first thing you need to do is measure your wand simply by wrapping their alignment sticker around it. Like, uh, like an extra large wand. Oh yeah! <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it's not sexual, stop it. Once you've established how big your wand is, Oh yeah! Stop it. You take the appropriate sized adapter and use it to adjust the gear to fit your wand so it is a more snug fit in the cavity. Oh yeah! Stop it. In my case, I have a much bigger than average size wand. Oh. Stop it. So I've used the XL sheath, stop it, to make it nice and tight. Oh, yeah. No! Hello! Yes, you too, but get- yes please! Yeah. He's at it again! It's absolutely disgusting! My child is watching this! Wow. Week after week, it's the same old smut, and week after week, I tune in with my child and sit and watch it! It's disgusting! 
I don't think there's anything I could possibly do about it. You then connect the solar panel to the motor, and from there the motor just wraps around the gear. You stick the mountain bracket to the blind casing, wrap the cable around and through the back of your blind, and then stick the solar panel to your window. Bob's your uncle. Once you've got the physical setup done, it's simply a case of calibrating the motor. The app will walk you through this, and all you have to do is wind the wand to the positions that it tells you to in the app, and from there, it just works. It just works! In case you're thinking this is quite a joke-heavy episode, it's because last week somebody told me there were too many jokes in the episode. Don't, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. The motor keeps tabs on you, and this is genius. If you've twisted it manually, it realizes and accommodates for your caveman weights. It doesn't matter how many times you twist it, it figures it out. On top of this, my blind has an awful lot of play in the wand. I can twist this a whole bunch of times and nothing happens. Switchbot magically somehow figures out exactly how many turns it needs before it reaches full tension. It just works. It just works! Hello there. I was wondering if I might have a moment of your time to talk to you about our Lord and Saviour the subscribe button. If you don't press it, your eternal soul will go to hell. Damnation. Press it. Press it. Press it. It has performance mode and silent mode. Both are noisy. It, it doesn't, there's no such thing as silent mode when you come to a motor trying to wind a blind. Unfortunately, you're gonna expect a bit of noise. It sounds a bit like this. The app is really clever, and you can wind the position to whichever point you like using the little animated diagram in the app, which is super cool, and even create three customized positions so that you can just hit a button instead if you prefer. The solar panel has a light sensor on it, and this is super clever too, because you can create automations that will close the blinds when the sun goes down, and open them again when the sun comes up. Just so clever. So bear in mind, I am beta testing this thing. I mean, it's not its not even out yet. You can go and join the Kickstarter campaign right this second and get it for cheaper, I assume. I don't, I don't actually know how much it's gonna cost when it comes out, but it's $69 at the moment. Not sure that works out in pounds, and the link is in the description. I would go and get one now whilst you can get it at that price. So the first of these very small problems is that the solar panel cable is just long enough to reach my window. If it was any shorter, it wouldn't be long enough to actually reach, and I would have to find some way of extending it. It's a bit of a stretch. Just like that Manchester Airport joke that I shoehorned into the episode earlier, simply because I'm annoyed with Manchester Airport. Your holiday is over. Get out. I mean, it probably won't be a problem for you, but if it is, you can always get an extension off Amazon anyway. And that's kind of it. The only other thing I can think of really is that the Home Assistant integration for me, I can't get it working. I mean, it exists, but just can't, can't do it. It's perfectly simple. All you have to do is add the developer key, the access token, and the device's MAC address to your configuration.yaml file, and then add a virtual device to- Have sex with somebody. Uh, so if you're in my comment section right now giving me grief, but it's so easy. It's not easy. Please, please go and have sex with somebody, please. If you want any kind of cloud functionality, you'll need the SwitchBot Hub. But they don't cost a lot of money, and they will give you the added benefit that you can blast infrared signals, which means that you could also control your TV and your set-top box using either Amazon Alexa or Google Home or whatever. There's a nice added bonus. SwitchBot continue to innovate and this is possibly the best device they've made so far. I can't say enough good things about how easy it was to install, or what a huge hole it fills in the smart home market. Oh yeah! Stop it. Oh yeah! Stop it. Oh yeah! Stop 
Ah! It's too smutty a game. My child cannot watch this. I've been desperate now for someone to finally automate this final thing on a commercial level for years, and it is finally here, and it's awesome. Like I said before, there are links in the description if you wanted to pick one of these up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video, and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when it uploads videos. These incredible people running down your screen right now are my patrons from Patreon, and this is the same speech I give every week. Every week I tell you how awesome they are as human beings, because if I didn't have them, I would still be working in a call center. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon, or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. And some bits to attach the motor to your wall. Wand. That word says wand. I am s I am so stuck with things in my teeth. In my case, I have a much bigger than average size wand. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it.